even though we came from a very small, very very small beginning, I've never thought of myself as less. Like I never thought my family needed anything else because we had each other. I'm not ashamed from where I come from. It's just home to me. It's where I feel safe. Hi, my name is Zakia. I'm 17 years old and I've been living in a one-room flat for about 17 years. Well, growing up, I lived with my dad, my mom, and my older brother. So it was just always the four of us. We spent a lot of time in the living room because back in the 2000s for us, there were no furnitures. It was actually really like cozy. The four of us would just sleep outside. We would just watch TV until we all fall asleep. Me and my brother actually grew up playing with ice cream sticks mainly because um, my parents couldn't afford an actual toy. We were okay with it, you know. Simple childhood, simple toys, we were grateful. I grew up with him. He used to take care of me when my dad was away at JB. There was this one time my house got vandalised. I ran down to this coffee shop and find him and another uncle. So instead of calling the police, they are my backup. So my neighbourhood is it's very shady. There have been a few incidents where I see loan sharks slashing paint or at least seven to ten police officers roaming around the neighbourhood. To everybody that lives in this neighbourhood, we actually deem it as normal because it happens quite often. I mean, besides all the shady things that goes on, this is still home. If you notice, like walking by the railings, there are like vandalisms on that. Yeah, that's where we feel safe to just write, just draw. Some of the kids, not only from my community, from other rental block communities, they find their safe space with people that are like very intimidating and a brotherhood, a sisterhood, that's very important to them. When I was growing up, I actually thought everybody lived in like the same flats as I do, but it never really like sparked a debate for me whether I should be ashamed of where I live. I think if I have ever had a chance to move out, I would actually not because um, it's where I feel safe. When I was sec four, my dad left me. It actually did a lot to me because every day from there on, I just thought like, maybe I wasn't enough for my dad. There's just not enough words to like really describe the pain of someone you love so much leaving you. Spending a lot of time at home, I realized that the only place that I can be myself and where I belong is the arts. So I've been in this community theatre group for about three years. It's organised by Beyond Social Services. So basically this group, we are all volunteers. And majority of us, we actually come from rental flats. We stage a lot of plays uh, talking about people living in rental flats, like the struggles they have, family neglecting each other, teen pregnancy, well, we want to show that it's relatable for the people living in our communities. And all these stories that we use, they, it came from them. So we're not really telling other people's story, we're telling theirs. So this year, uh, the community theatre actually staged a production called uh, The Block Party. The Block Party was mainly about celebrating the struggles that everybody in rental flats have gone through. We are trying to share the message that poverty is just not about where you live. Poverty is more than that. The struggles, the pains, the suffering that we've been through, that makes us who we are. It's nice to actually start from a humble beginning because when you start from somewhere small and you grow even bigger, it shows how determined you are and how strong you can be as a person.